Greetings, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. We're going to get started in just a couple minutes. But first, Doreen and Christine over on Twitter interacting with us over there. Twitter.com slash Swagbucks Live. If you're not following us and you're on Twitter, you're not really on Twitter. Is what I have to say about that. Hello and welcome to you and to everyone. Calgary is up in the heezy. Hello, Von Turner. This is a shout out to you. I know you ask for them all the time, but we don't give them out to everybody all the time. So now you got your shout out. Know that you are acknowledged and we're glad that you're here. Okay. Thank you to Knight1137 for wishing everyone good luck and to everyone who takes a moment to wish others well. We always appreciate that here at Swag Bucks Live. Hello to Echo in Pittsburgh. How yin's doing? Shamik in Hollywood, Florida. Angel Hayes in Topeka, Kansas. I've been to Topeka. It's lovely. It was very cold when I was there. Very, very, very cold. But I, to be fair, I was there in either December or January or February, like one of those months. So very cold, very snowy, but a lovely area. Who else do we have here? We have Nora's Laura, who says, let's win. And I hope that you all do. By the way, uh, speaking of cold weather, somebody said it was 12 degrees where they are. Oh my goodness, that's that's too that's too cold. Please stay warm. The, the winter months, I just want to point out if you're in a cold climate, it's not good to play Swag Bucks Live outdoors. You probably know that already. You live there and I don't. But as someone who, who spent four years at Syracuse and knows a little bit about cold weather, you don't want to be on your phone out there. That's, that's just a bad idea. Hello to Wyatt Theobald in Illinois. What's up to you? And hello to York 102 in Norton, Massachusetts. We got a fun game for you today, talking board games. So I want you to know that we've made it, all of us, to a very meta game. It's an all board games edition of Swag Bucks Live. That's right, a game about games. And we are the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Use a pop -a matic to get the little bits of knowledge in your brain moving around. And a mirage and if you can correctly answer these 10 multiple choice board game trivia questions you will win a share of it now in this game you will also earn one bonus sb for every question you get right after question number one even if you've already been eliminated that's important let's say you get one wrong keep going earn bonus sb okay but you will have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them and that's as simple as clicking a button that is all you need to do but if you are a grand prize winner you don't have to click a button because your bonus sb are claimed for you automatically and rolled into your share of that one thousand dollar grand prize now the first time you get a question wrong as long as it's before question number 10 you can rejoin to get another shot at the grand prize you can rejoin using sb generally it's one sb to rejoin or you can use a free rejoin if you don't have any just click get more rejoins in the main menu at the end of the game you can get rejoins by watching videos it's that simple now if you didn't already know we've been doing 500 sb giveaways in each game lately and that continues this week that's right we are keeping it going because you love it so much here's how it works if you earn and claim at least one sb in today's game you will qualify for today's drawing and we'll announce the winner at the beginning of tomorrow's game speaking of which i have the winner for you from friday's giveaway and it is christy west Congratulations, your account will be credited after today's game. Finally, if you're looking for more SB outside of what you win from today's game, click the More Ways to Earn button in the main menu at any time, and you'll be taken to an exclusive offer wall with opportunities to earn SB towards your daily goal. It's always there, and it's worth checking out after the game and any time a game is not happening. Enough of that, though. The comments, they are going directly to jail. They are not passing go. They are not collecting $200. The game will now begin. Here is question number one. You are not supposed to see your opponent's pieces in this game. Which one? This game is an interesting mix of luck and strategy as you try to place your own fleet out of harm's way while destroying your opponent's fleet in a game of... you. of you getting that one right well done when i uh, i'm going to give you an opportunity to rejoin by the way we already have with that over thirty thousand people in grand prize contention we have over thirty five thousand people playing the game right now and that is what i like to see a lot of people rejoining i had travel battleship when i was a kid 
but I knew kids who had electronic battleship that made noises and you pressed buttons. And I just thought that was that was like the haves and have nots in my neighborhood. I had the travel battleship, but somewhere out there there was a kid who had the electronic battleship. And that, my friends, was living. We are moving on now to question number two. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, question number two. This is named after the streets of Atlantic City. Is it Monopoly, Axis and Allies, or Candyland? Streets of Atlantic City. Which game is it? There are specialty versions that change the spaces to local streets or parts of movies or TV shows, but the standard Monopoly map... place on Atlanta, they're like with down the shore, we had a place that was like between Ventnor and Atlantic, I think. And it's always amazing to see those, to see the real Marvin Gardens, to see Ventnor, Atlantic, Pacific, all of those streets. You can see them in Atlantic City and enjoy uh, some fine ice cream at different ice cream parlors. Let's move on to question number three worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. Trivial Pursuit. Scrabble. Scrabble. Settlers of Catan. That's right. Trivial Pursuit. This game crawled so that we can fly. And since 1981, it's been the gold standard for trivia. Some people think it's genius, but the trivia... But the genus means 91% of you getting that one right. The, the, the great mother of Trivia Games. We thank you, Trivia Pursuit, for existing. And now we take you, you're like on a game show and you're also playing sort of a version of Trivial Pursuit because you have to answer questions. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't the life uh, that we all lead so wonderful? 91% of you getting that one right and the 9% eliminated. Most of you coming right back in. Still almost 33,000 people in grand prize contention. Over 35,600 of you playing the game. And we are on to question number four now. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Crazy Contraption. Is it Othello, Mousetrap, or Risk? A game of zany action on a crazy contraption. It's a Rube Goldberg contraption come to life. And I'll be honest, I've never played a full game, and I have no idea how you actually play. But you can be sure that I have set up the board... Love to see that happening. In fact, you're doing so well. We can move right on to question number five worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. And making as much money as possible. Is it Shoots and Ladders, Scrabble, or the Game of Life? Which of those board games you get a job, a family, and make as much money as you possibly can? Load up the family truckster, then fill it with the family. Then make a series of decisions in an attempt to be the richest player the game of life is the answer. Pretty much everyone getting that one right. Well done. I always love uh, how those boards as a kid had the topography, like they had the little hills. You'd go up and down uh, like little ramps. And I love spinning the wheel to take your turn because the wheel had many colors and it was pretty. Let's move on to question number six. We're halfway done with this game. It's worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here is question number six. Chess invented. Which one was it? The original military strategy game, it went through a lot of changes before becoming the modern version we know today. And that happened in the 16th century, but the game had already been born. Sixth century is the answer. 76% of you. Getting that one right, 76% of you got that right, with another 24% who can rejoin. And it looks like most of the people who got out will rejoin. We have over 29,000 people in grand prize contention. See, it fell apart there. You thought I wasn't going to sing. Some of you hoped I wouldn't, but too bad, because I did it. All right, we are moving on now to question number seven, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is, Q7. closest number 
How many ways are there to win? Connect four. Do you know this fun fact? Judging by the size of the playing field and your goal to get four pieces in a row before your opponent, you wouldn't imagine that there are a ton of ways to win. But in reality, there are over four... Connect four. That's right. Four trillion is the answer. 65% of you getting that one right. That was the toughest question we've had for you so far. And over half of you nailed it. Well done. Of the 35% of you got eliminated, no reason to feel bad. You can either rejoin and play for the grand prize once again if you've not already, or you can claim your bonus SB at the end, which enters you into a drawing for 500 SB. See? You don't want to go anywhere. About half of the people coming back in. On that one, still over 23,000 people in grand prize contention. Only three questions left in this game. Here comes question number eight worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Game. Is it sorry, clue, or trouble? Those are three characters from which board game? It was a dark and stormy night, and Mr. Body's body had been found at his palatial estate. Which of these suspects is the murderer? Where did they do it? And what weapon did they use? Figure it out. Much everyone getting that one right. Well done. What do you say we move on to question number nine worth one bonus SP if you get it right? Here it is. Stories are there in a standard game of cranium? Is it four, ten, or one hundred? Different categories. In a game of Cranium, how many are there? Cranium, who got a huge boost from being featured in Starbucks stores around the country, combines a bunch of popular games with four different categories, testing everything. That one right. Well done to you. You are ready for our final question, but before we get to that final question, for a limited time, shop toys at Walmart and get four SB for every dollar you spend. That is four times the, net, the normal cash back. This year's hottest toys are here just in time for the holidays. From dollhouses and plushies to action figures and steam toys, find the biggest brands and coolest characters for way less. Shop favorite toys at low prices. Huge rollbacks on the hottest gifts. Come on, hurry up, because these toys are going fast, and you have to jump into the fun quickly, because the offer ends November 20th. That is right. Sunday is the end of this offer. Check it out. Walmart Toys. You have to be a U.S. player, of course, to take advantage of this opportunity, but toys, gotta have the toys, and games are part of toys. I'm just gonna point that out, okay? All right. We have 19,000 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 35,200 of you have stuck around to the very end. And guess what? You now have the opportunity to earn one more bonus SP if you can correctly answer question number 10. Here it is. Same blocks in a tower. Keeping your calm and keeping your hands steady are the two most key moments of success in this game. Those are the keys to winning, all right? Outside of basic physics knowledge, of which... Seven hundred and ninety-nine of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. You'll be taking home six SB in grand prize money plus the bonus SB you earned along the way. Rennykins, you are a winner. Butterfly, you are a winner. Jay Jones, 3314. Congratulations to you. And finally, Aaron Burns. Congratulations to each and every one of our grand prize winners. And congratulations to those of you who stuck around, earned bonus SB, and claimed them. Not only do you have more SB in your account now than you did when the game started, but you are going to be automatically entered into a drawing to win 500 SB. We'll announce the winner of that tomorrow. In the meantime, you know what to do with all the new SB you have in your account, right? Yeah. That's right. Redeem them for PayPal cash to gift or for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. So excited I can barely speak. Thank you for playing along and winning, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow for another round. This has been Swagbucks Live, and I am out of here.